Hey everybody, it's Video Game Restoration. The other day I received a Game Boy for restoration. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to completely fix it. So let me show you what happened. This Game Boy was sent to me by a retro lover who really wants to enjoy some nostalgic games on his original Game Boy. Now he sent his system with the mystery game, so let's pop it in to see what we have. Nice, Dr. Mario. Now we know the game and the problem with this Game Boy. We have some vertical lines through the screen. This is incredibly common and is usually a simple fix. To repair this, we're going to have to access the front board of the Game Boy. We'll start by removing the six tri-head screws located at the back of the system. With those out, we'll be able to separate the shell. Now when you're opening it, you'll have to remove this ribbon cable just by pulling down from the back half. You can leave the rear board in the shell, but you'll have to remove the front board by removing the multiple Phillips head screws. There's a little rubber piece held underneath the screen by some adhesive tape. Now when you pull it off, the adhesive tape will stay behind. You can easily burn through the tape, however, I prefer to remove it. With a soldering iron, we're going to add a little bit of heat to the ribbon cable underneath those vertical lines that are missing. And here's where I started to run into some trouble. I was able to restore the very far left pixels, but I wasn't able to fix these lines in between. I took a break from the left side because I didn't want to make it too, too hot and moved over to the right. Now these pixels were super easy to restore and I was able to get them back in a few minutes. With the right side completed, I moved back to the left side. Now I tried a few tricks like pushing down and adding a little bit more pressure. However, nothing seemed to be working. But ultimately in the end, I wasn't able to restore these vertical lines. I just wasn't able to fill in those last lines. I tried a few things off camera that people had suggested to me, like trying a hair dryer, like trying different tips, different temperatures, using pressure. None of those worked. Now, occasionally this will happen. These screens are 33 years old, so sometimes they're just past the point of repair. Unfortunately, this customer didn't want a screen upgrade and finding a replacement one can be a little difficult. Sometimes they come up on eBay. You don't know if they're gonna work though, and they usually go for the same price as an upgraded screen from what I've seen at least. Now, if you have a tried and true method, please share it in the comments so on the next one I can definitely fix it and so everybody can learn with us and they can fix their own Game Boys if they encounter this problem. Now even though I wasn't able to save the screen, I'm still going to clean and restore the Game Boy to the best of my abilities. Speaking on those 33 years, this has built up some grime. I used a toothbrush and isopropyl alcohol to really scrub out some of that dirt and then moved on to the game card. Now the game card itself was cracked and the pins on the game were a little bit tarnished but we can fix that no problem. My favorite way to clean games is by using a rubber eraser to polish the pins then some alcohol just to give them a final cleaning. To clean the carts, I used a Q-tip and some more alcohol just to really get in those nooks and crannies. With everything cleaned, I used a tiny little bit of super glue just to fix that small crack that was in the game case. Now that the game pins are super shiny and that shell is nice and repaired, let's add the final touch. I bought a replacement sticker from Matthew Mods over on Etsy. He has some of the best stickers that I've ever used. You can also find him over on Instagram. I can't recommend him enough. This Game Boy came to me dirty and broken. Unfortunately, it's still leaving here broken, but at least it's clean. And that mystery card that we started with, well, now it looks good as new. Now, before you ask, I didn't charge anything for this. I have a no repair, no charge policy. And for the game, well, it was a surprise. So because they didn't specifically ask for it, I'm not going to charge them. It's kind of like going to the mechanic to get an oil change. And then they also did a hundred things and then charge you for it. Absolutely not. If I had restored the Game Boy, I would have about broken even with the cost of the sticker. So unfortunately, I'm at a little bit of a loss on this one, but that's all right, because at the end of the day, it's about saving the consoles. And their games, I guess, but you know. Thank you so much for watching. If you want any merch like a hat, shirt, or stickers, they're on my website, which is down in the description. As always, I encourage you to learn with me, but please don't imitate me without first doing your own research, just in case I made mistakes. Now, if you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, let's save the consoles.